Hi, I said I would do an update on the, the heater that I've got for the frame here uh, with all the seeds in it and I was feeling really pleased about myself and if you haven't noticed it by now <laughs> there's a hole in the top of the gauze there and what I did was I've set the the flame really low and I came out and for some reason it was really high I, I don't know why and uh, the flame was, was um, on, on the top there what it's done is it's burnt a wee hole through. Not good. Anyway, um, don't care about that because that's fine. I can just adjust it. What I do care about is uh, the little gem lettuces. Seeds that I had grown. There was a whole tray of them. They came up really fast and I, and I was really excited about that. Yeah, excited. Yeah, but you see what happened to them? Here they are here. Uh, I don't think you can see it. There's one that's made it. The rest of them burnt to a crisp. Now, that wasn't the heater that done that. <clears throat> the last couple of days here, just outside Glasgow, it's been sunny. It's been cold, but it's it's been blue skies all day. And the temperature in here, I reckon, is reaching about 30 inside this little frame. <clears throat> uh, what's happened, basically, these sit at the front. Uh, over there, at the edge, and uh, <laughs> they boiled. Now that happened to me last year, and I thought I'd learnt from it. But it's really difficult because when you get up in the morning, it's like minus two, and then you know when you're away at work, they're boiling away, boiled lettuce. Anyway, okay, so we'll sort that out. Um, the other problem is that uh, with that flame being high, this one here has got some fire damage. It looks really bad, doesn't it? Uh, it's just gradual. It's obviously it's very thin plastic. Um, you can see the the seeds. Oh, it's difficult to see it. Right, there you go. See they've gone brown. They get hit with the heat as well. <sighs> Two trees. So okay. Um, this big tree here is uh, just below this pitiful site is uh, onions and they're, they're coming up so fine uh, I've got a lot of flowers in here as well, I've got marigold, you know the companion flowers for the uh, tomatoes and such like uh, they're okay um, these here these are French marigold and they were doing really well and the ones at the front are toast <laughs> oh, what a useless camera. Uh, the ones at the back are okay. So, okay, what do we do then? Um, these guys up here haven't come up yet, but they're drying out, so I'm having to water them pretty quickly all the time. Do you know, I'm not sure about these things with the little cells in them. I don't know about anyone else, but you really got to keep your eye on them, because they're like basically powder in, in no time. They're pretty rubbish. You've really got to be watering them constantly. And as I say, if they're in this, you know, it's, uh, it's just a bit of a gamble whether you leave this flap over during the day or leave it open or, you know, okay. Ah oh well, you live and learn. Um, so as I say, some of them are alright. <coughs> These are, uh, oops, nasturtiums. stupid thing. These are nasturtiums. And there uh, you can see. There you go, there's one. Hello. Right, and uh, we'll leave it at that just now, and I'll catch up with you later.